Sam Roberts down at Goldington Road, uh, July the 1st, kind of officially the first day of, of the next season, as it were. Uh, I'm with Mike Rea. Well, first things first, Mike, how are you? Uh, a good month off? Yeah, I feel uh, fairly refreshed mentally. Um, only a couple, got a couple of weeks away and uh, you know, we, we've been working hard behind the scenes here, planning and, and preparing for, for when the lads come back in, which is tomorrow, the 2nd. So... Um, yeah, really excited about having the guys back in now. Um, get a bit stir crazy after a while, so uh, um, it'll be good to to see all the boys and the coaches, and um, you know, get on with some hard work. It's been a busy May June, bringing potentially new faces in. From a purely fans point of view, that's a hell of a side that you've got. You put together thirty six. It looks very very strong. How excited are you about it? Yeah, it, I mean it's looking good, but it's it's like everything. You know, you you look through all the squads of all the, all the sides and. And there's some good players um, still in this championship. Is you know, obviously, it's pleasing for for everyone in the division to see these some of these boys stepping up uh, into the Premiership. But if you you look behind the uh, back in the championship, there's still some some very very good players. It's all on paper. That's the only that's that's the thing we we can't get carried away with. Um, you know, it's kind of a a new start for us with uh, so many players um, we brought in. So, um, you know, we've we've had to revisit um, certain calls and plays um, that we're going to have to change about. Um, maybe look to tweak our playing style a touch, because um, obviously there's a lot of information gone away from here as well. So you've got to keep on top of the game. But that, but that's that's kind of the, the motivate, motivating factor, and uh, you know, keep staving away the um, the complacency. So uh, yeah, I'm pleased with what with what we got. Um, now it's our job as coaches um, to really turn this group group of individuals, if you like, into a team, and that's um, that's been a strength of ours over the last couple of seasons. Is we've um, we haven't had to rely on too many individuals. It's always been a team effort. Certainly the case last year. In the past, we've had you know other guys with a bit bit of X factor that have won some games for us. But certainly last year, I thought um, the squad were were terrific and all pulled in the same direction. Um, hopefully, we've added to that, and and hopefully we're stronger. Um, Certainly, looking down the list, I got a feeling that we might be a more rounded team this year, even more rounded team, if you like. That excites us, but we know there's a lot of hard work, and um, you know we've got we're in for three weeks now, where the boys will be um, tested um, physically. Um, so, you know, once we get that out of the way, we move into August. We'll start really getting our teeth into um, our organisational stuff, and, and obviously the training camp will um, hopefully hone all them. Um, team skills. There are some fascinating areas across the park, as you say, on paper. Um, wing three-quarter looks a very busy area of the club. Uh, back row as well, I can't pick them. Front row also looks incredibly competitive. It must be quite nice for you for the next couple of months to sit back and see who, who steps up and, and see who starts to sort of... The battles must be intriguing from a coaching point of view. Yeah, that, that, and that's, you know, obviously a big important part of the recruitment process. I think, you know, if you get a, a competitive group of players then you go a long way to achieving success because competition at the end of the day will keep driving these players on and, and you know you still got the likes of Sash and Toops will set the standard in training um, and for the new guys to coming in um, you know they'll add a bit of freshness but they also see the standards we expect as well so uh, I think we've got some quality guys in um, and, and obviously good players as well so um, it's important we get the right mix and, and, I, and I think we've done that. Um, the next weeks and months will will, uh, will tell us um, even more, really. Often it's said of sides that it's not how good your first team is, it's often how good your second team is. With a year, World Cup year, pressures on, on, on sort of all sorts of teams and all sorts of different situations occurring. It's, it's going to be about everyone and it's going to be about all 36 players. Uh, I suppose that's true perhaps more this year than any other year. Yeah, you know we're going to get a knock-on effect from Saracens, um, who will have players in the World Cup squad, so that may limit the amount of time early season we see some of the dual register, registered players. But look, you know I've got 29 players pretty much contracted that I can pick on week in week out at this moment in time, and, that, and that's the key to us retaining our identity as Bedford Blues. You know the Saracens relationship is working fantastically well, but we are Bedford Blues, and and, and um, we're always keen. Uh, to maintain that, um, so that's that, that's going to be important early on. Um, we've got a couple of players coming on trials. So we may yet add one or two more to the to the to the, the depth of, of the squad, but it's it's 
still um, a matter of bringing all these guys together and, um, and making sure we're, we're all singing from the same hymn sheet. Put to rest a, an old adage for me. How, how long is it until the ball goes out there? Is it pure training for the first couple of weeks, pure anaerobic fitness, or do you get a ball out there quite early on? Well, it, 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 you know, for the past six seasons I've been here, it's all been about the ball. Um, we're going to change it up slightly this year. We're taking the lads off on Mondays to, to, to different destinations, if you like. We're going to do a bit of forestry running. We're going to Bedford Rowing Club to do a session on a Monday. <clears throat> but for sure, Tuesday and Thursday will be all, be all about the ball and... Um, and getting it out there, um, we, you know, we, we, it's no secret we play a lot of small-sided touch games, and the boys, um, the boys really enjoy that. Um, they, they're competitive, um, and there's a lot of running involved in them. So, you know, there's a lot of lot of quick ball um, stuff, um, which suits the style of play that that we as a uh, coaching group see us playing. Everything pointing towards winning this league and going up next year, as it were. Oh, look, that's a big statement, isn't it? I mean. Uh, it's a competitive league again. Cornish Pirates were a fantastic side last year. They've lost a few players, but they've recruited really well. You know, people are underestimating Leeds. I mean, it's crazy. I mean, the side may not be the strength of what Worcester brought down, but it'll be very good. Um, but more importantly, they've got an unbelievable um, backroom staff and setup there. You know, they've got fully professional training facilities, analysts. You know, you name it, they'll have it, and uh, so th- that'll be a um, big help to London Welsh who recruited well. So all, all the usual suspects will, will be up there. Not enough of. of, of Almost got the pack they had there um, three years ago, which was probably the, the best in the division at the time. So, you know, there's all sorts of sides will, will emerge over the course of the season. And you, you can't be off your guard against any of these. We, you know, the last, well, ever since I've been at this, this club, there's always been shocks through the course of the season. So you've got to make sure that week in, week out, you're, you're on your metal. And, uh, and there, are, there are some good sides out there. Oh, look, all, all we're going to set out to do is, and I don't take a rocket side, I'm not shout from the rooftops here we want to improve on what happened last year uh, you know we're massively hurting from them last two weeks um, and hopefully we'll use that as motivation moving forward now you know last year was last year you're only as good as your next season um, and the work for that starts tomorrow and um, you know I can't wait personally I'm, I'm really looking forward to it as I say it was a pretty tough end of the season pretty disappointing that we didn't end up with something tangible for our, our efforts but you get what you deserve and uh, we we didn't deserve to win win both games because of varying reasons and um, you know we, we're looking to very much go one step further now that's up to you to d- decide however you want to interpret that I'll end on the little note of speculation get you to say your piece as well um, there is a job going at a, at a club that you obviously have very strong links to back in uh, back in Cardiff um, where do you stand on that I'm, I'm surprised that your name isn't linked to any job that comes up in the, in, the higher, in the higher echelons as it were but it has been linked to this one what's, what's your official standpoint on the Cardiff job oh look uh, you know it's flattering to be linked with, with, with a job that's, that's such high profile, but you know it's, it's a tenuous link that people are in the press are uh, uh, making a, a meal of. But I'm not the only one. There's about 300 names being bandied about as as they would. I, look, I got a massive job in my hands here still. You know, I'm six years. I'm conscious. I'm six years into this into this job. You know, going into my seventh season. But obviously, we freshened things up with, with the players we brought in this year. I'm looking forward to next season. I, I can't afford to, to worry about speculation and worry about other things. You know. They'll pan out. They'll happen if they happen, you know. And um, you know, I've not heard anything for anybody to date, so I can't afford to get sidetracked by by any um, any speculation. And I'm I'm really looking forward to doing my job as best I can at Bedford Blues. Well, I haven't probably been as excited about what lies in front of Bedford Blues in a while. I can sense that you're probably feeling exactly the same way. Good luck. I sense you always need a little bit of luck in this in this league, a little bit of rub of the green, as it were. Good luck and. Um, I hope everything goes as well as it possibly can for you this season, Mike. Well, there's going to be some ups and downs, Sam, and uh, you know we want as much support as as we can, um, and as we have done over the last couple of seasons. You know, the, the season tickets are, are, have gone really well. Um, you know, and uh, we just want everyone to get behind the lads now, and um, and hopefully we can enjoy another successful season. As I said, there's going to be some ups, there's going to be some downs, but but that, that's a fact of life in rugby, and uh, we, we need to enjoy the the ups. Um, and uh, take the downs in our stride and, and try and put it right the next week. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Cheers.